welcome back in the EU Deal After Brexit show. I am with Theo Bonchro today, a student in international and European law, to understand the impact of Brexit on the aviation safety. How are you? Thank you for having me. Thank you. So, what are the consequences of Brexit for the workers in the aviation industry? Um, so, for the workers, the deal that was agreed between the EU and the UK will not change much as this deal was concentrated mainly for the companies. So for the workers, uh, the pilots, for instance, they will have um, to transfer their, their licenses. So for the pilots that were operating in the EU and that want to operate in the UK, they will have to transfer or validate their existing uh, licenses because the UK has left the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, which was in charge of these um, licenses and certificates. So they will now have two different systems mm. uh, to comply with, with different licenses. And this was not um, dealt with by the deal, as um, these, they have agreed on a mutual recognition system, but only for the companies and for the planes in themselves and not the workers. So the pilots and the uh, maintenance workers will have to transfer or obtain new licenses with either the EASA, the European um, Agency, or the British Civil Aviation Authority. Okay, and can airlines still operate between the EU and the, U the UK? Yes, because as I've said, um, for the airplanes, the, both parties have agreed to have a mutual recognition of licenses. So they do not uh, recognize each other's standards. They do not have the same standards. Okay, different standards. But they have, yes, but they have confidence in each other that these standards are, are safe enough. And so they have this mutual recognition of licenses. Um, and they do not have this for the pilots and workers because it was left to decide um, at another time, and this depends on political will of both parties, as they have created a special committee to deal with those uh, recognition of licenses. However, um, they are not obliged to take new uh, decisions, and therefore it is down to the political will to decide if they want uh, to implement new uh, mutual recognition. And to have your feeling, do you think that this deal is sufficient to ensure a continuity in this sector? Yes, so I think it brings a minimal uh, continuity as uh, mainly the planes will be able to fly between uh, the UK and the EU. So most of the flights that were already uh, existing before Brexit will continue. Um, so uh, in this sense, there is a certain continuity. However, as I've said, for the workers, so for the pilots and the uh, maintenance workers, uh, they will have to transfer their licenses, go through the process of uh, applying for those licenses. So for them, there is no continuity, and it's a little bit as if there wasn't any deal between both parties. But for the companies and for the flights in themselves, there is a sense of continuity, yes. Okay, thank you for your expertise and explanations on such topic. Your other colleague now will talk about uh, the uh, aviation sector. Yes, about the air transport and the traffic rights between both uh, continents. Yeah, or, uh, so if you want to watch this future episode, or this one or the other episode, do not hesitate to follow us on our channel. Thank you for your intervention. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Thank you, have a great day.